Good afternoon, my beautiful kings and queens. Good afternoon. How are you today? I hope your day is going well. Um, I am here on lunch. Time for a little bit of Sandy Speaks. Got a few random facts for you today, as well as today in black history. So this morning, watching the news, just some some things that caught my eye and I thought were quite interesting. Um, news anchor, Brian Williams, a... Uh, American favorite seems to be has been caught in a lie that's been going on for 12 years. He has been claiming um, he claimed to have been on a plane that was shot down um, in enemy fire. And through this wonderful thing called social media, he has basically been outed. You know, people are saying, wait a minute. No, I don't remember seeing you on the plane. But my question is, hmm. Why 12 years? Why it took so long to find out he was lying? But that's neither here nor there. Random fact number one. Uh, Second random fact. Thankfully, thank God, um, Officer Taylor that I mentioned yesterday on Sandy Speaks, who was basically on trial for following the rules, handling a dangerous situation, how he was trained. Um, He was found not guilty. They found that he did what he was supposed to do. And so, you know, we thank God for that. But um, one thing that we should question or just really be thinking about is why was he even on trial at all? If it was known that the, um, you know, the victim, rest in peace, he had a knife. He had been threatening the people at the nursing home all day. So you call the police officer in to do his job and he stands trial for that yeah so congratulations to officer taylor you know uh glad that all worked out for you but let's just really think about how we prosecute them for doing their job and unfortunately how we sometimes as civilians are prosecuted for just being civilians so yes my next random fact american sniper so the um the guy who killed the American sniper Eddie Ray Routh I guess is going on trial today and there is a big uh there's a big stir about this because they want to change a venue you know with the popularity of the movie being so big they don't feel like they could find a jury that will not be biased um but my question is why is such a violent movie still at number one in, in like, why is that the, the most popular thing right now? We are promoting violence. You know, his choice to be a sniper um, in this American, this war on terrorism, this man-made make-believe war on terrorism. You know, that was his choice. We appreciate it for it. We need all of our armed forces out there. But Selma. A movie just as good, if not better. I haven't seen American Sniper, no offense, because I wasn't interested in seeing it. But Selma, a a movie about a a real war, a war for civil rights. Got no, it, it, it just got pushed by the wayside. It got no Oscar nominations, you know, no real recognition. Yet we've got movies in line to get Oscars. That don't, that are in subtitles. The like you see my face, so you have Selma again. Great movie, great director, great actor, great story because it's true. Not even getting the same type of accolades that a movie that's promoting violence, um, a movie that you got to read the whole time. So that that's just. Selma is an Oscar-worthy movie in my book. That book need that movie needs to be watched. I feel it needs to be a part of um, our American history classes curriculum. Stop pushing it to the wayside. Stop acting like it didn't happen. Civil rights that was a war, right here at home. This fight for civil rights it still goes on right now, although it's not called civil rights. That is what it is. Your right to be a civilian. We are still in that fight today. So please don't think it's over because it's not. It's really not. 
so those were just my little random facts um so going forward today in black history gotta give it up props 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 today february 5th 1990 our president of the united states president barack obama was um voted as president hey first black president of the united states and the first black president or let me correct myself african-american let me be correct uh the first african-american elected as president of the harvard business law um class so props president mr president big ups to you definitely breaking bar barriers in you know the ivy league world and just across our nation and our world as a whole so again my kings and queens i say to you today our work is not done. We've got work to do. So do your part. Work on breaking down a barrier, doing something new today, and just going out there being successful, building your kingdom, building your queendom, and just being great. I love you people, and I will talk to you later. Sandy Speaks.